It was crazy. I think it was like raining all day. I don't think it stopped once. And that led to problems. We continue our team coverage on that weather. Now people are returning to their homes in Clinton after heavy rain and fast moving floodwaters washed out roads there. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Nuclo shows us the damage left behind before an evacu evacuation order, I should say, was lifted. Heavy rains, heavy rains. After a day's worth of nonstop rain, Clinton is cleaning up and trying to dry out. I know that um, where my son goes to daycare, there's a river across the road that's been dry for like 15 years, a really long time, and now it's like overflowing, which is crazy. Heavy machinery was brought in this morning. Crews working to repair Woods Lane after a powerful rush of water washed out the road. People on the other side were anxiously waiting for it to be fixed. We have several bridges in town that we're concerned about checking the structural integrity of. Even though the water's receded, you'll see some barricaded roadways. Please do not drive around the barricades. They're there for a reason. And officials have been reminding people not to drive over roads that look like this because even if you think it's not that deep, you don't know the condition of the road underneath and you can see just how fast moving this water is. And in many cases that can completely wash out a road. Last night, some were told to evacuate as the Kelsey Town Reservoir was quickly rising and police tell us several dozen homes were flooded. I was a little worried because my driveway where I live is like a stone driveway, so like when it rains, it's awful. It was a full lake when I went to go leave this morning. Connecticut Water says it put its emergency plan in place and engineers are now inspecting the reservoir. I used to live over by the reservoir when I was uh, when I was young, so and I remember sandbagging neighbors' uh, neighbors' yards and, uh, and, and driveways trying to keep their basements uh, from being flooded. In Clinton, Caitlin Nuclo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.